We, we have some thunderstorms moving through now, so let's go to Bree and Scott. And strong thunderstorms are pretty much widespread across the area. It's two particular cells that we're watching that have severe thunderstorm warnings associated with them right now. The first is for Dent. That came in first. Mm -hmm. That expires at 630. Due to the potential of 60 mile an hour wind gusts and possibly penny sized hail, perhaps a little larger. The second for Crawford and Washington counties in Missouri, that's till 645 for similar conditions. They're concerned about straight line winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour. Now for the entire squall line though, Scott, We've already yes. seen some uh, sustained wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour in some yeah, spots. Just in the Weather Service office reporting a 45 mile per hour wind gust. That's probably <laughs> going to be common across St. Charles County and even into St. Louis County as well. We're going to kind of zoom in down here. You notice the reflectivity. It, it loses a little <coughs> bit of its color there. That's because the storm is right over the radar beam now out at the National Weather Service office. So it's attenuating a little bit, but it's right along that line there. In fact, we'll go ahead and we'll storm track this for you and, and kind of see some of the places in the path of this here as we draw it out well that's not going to work very well for me there now is it so let's just go back let's try that one more time down here well it doesn't want to do it we'll go off we'll take it into eastern portions of washington county even though the warning's not officially there and you can see that we are talking about this getting over to potosi in about 15 or 20 minutes or so again the potential's there for some of these storms to be rather intense we're already seeing that in the metro area and a lot of heavy rainfall as well with these thunderstorms across st charles county so this impacts you on your morning commute along 70 along 64 and around 270 as well you probably this morning even coming up 55 if you can delay your morning commute you just a little bit that might not be such a bad idea as this is quite an area of rain and it's a drenching rain and there's even the potential one of those cells down in Jefferson County looks like it has a little weak rotation with it at this point so we're watching that closely as well so Bree as we go through the day today we're going to replace these really warm temperatures which are in the 70s with much colder temperatures and we'll really see that fluctuate pretty quickly here Scott we're seeing some warmer temperatures this morning where we haven't seen the rain but if you look back to where those showers and storms have pushed through this isn't actually the cold front necessarily the cold air with that this is rain cooled air coming down there is enough cool air coming down that we do expect the potential for hail as we head through the morning as well although that primary concern is damaging straight line winds and the possibility of rotation behind this take a look at our low tonight down to 38 that just shows you how strong this cold front is for a check of what looks to be a very soggy commute at this point Point. Let's uh, check in with Sarah Daly. That's right, Bree. It's pretty much the visibility situation we're dealing with out there right now. So if you have to uh, travel, please take it slow. As Scott just mentioned, we'd probably advise that you just stay home until some of this moves through the area because it is quite a bit of a storm that's moving through uh, the viewing area right now. Take a look here at 55 and Butler Hill. You can see traffic still moving along just fine. Moments ago, we saw some lightning flash across the sky there. So keep that in mind. Check out this traffic mess. This is a complete headache. Bumper to bumper traffic if you're traveling northbound. Once you pass Gravoy and approach 44 and then continue on through Doherty Ferry and approaching 4064. Also the same situation. We had storms move through that Creevecore, Maryland Heights area and some viewers were letting me know how bad the winds and rain were there. So keep that in mind should you be traveling there in that direction soon. Out towards Route N, same situation. So basically you're just looking at quite a few soggy spots out there and it's going to stick around for some time. Possibly later on your evening commute may look the same, but we'll keep you posted on everything and check with traffic in the next couple of minutes. Jennifer, I'm oh, Okay, thanks Sarah.